The Role of a Facilitator in Your Study Group, A Guide to Effective Collaboration. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the topic of study groups. We're focusing on a very specific, but crucial role within the group, the facilitator. If you're participating in or thinking about forming a study group, this video is especially for you. So, what exactly is a facilitator? In the context of a study group, the facilitator is the person who guides the discussion, helps set goals, and ensures that everyone stays on track. They're not necessarily the leader but think of them as the conductor of an orchestra. They make sure everyone has a chance to shine and contribute to the collective learning experience. Let's talk about what a facilitator does during study group sessions. 1. Agenda Setting The facilitator helps in preparing an agenda for each meeting. This outlines what topics will be discussed and in what order. 2. Time Management They also keep an eye on the clock to make sure that the group doesn't dwell too long on a single topic, ensuring time is effectively used. 3. Encouraging participation. One of the most important roles of a facilitator is to encourage quiet members to speak up and share their thoughts. 4. Maintaining focus. The facilitator works to keep discussions on topic, gently steering back when things go off course. 5. Conflict resolution. In case disagreements arise, the facilitator helps in resolving conflicts and making sure the atmosphere stays constructive. So you're interested in taking on this role? Here are some tips. 1. Preparation is key. Always come prepared. Know the topics that will be discussed and how they fit into the overall syllabus or learning objectives. 2. Be neutral. Try to remain neutral especially when conflicts arise. Your job is to steer the conversation, not to dominate it. 3. Listen more. One of the signs of a good facilitator is active listening. Always pay attention to what others are saying. 4. Be adaptive. Flexibility is important. Sometimes you may need to deviate from the agenda for the good of the group's learning. 5. Seek feedback. Always ask for feedback about how you're doing as a facilitator to continually improve. That wraps up our discussion on the role of a facilitator in study groups. Whether you decide to take on this role or appreciate someone else who does, knowing what a facilitator does will help make your study sessions more productive and engaging. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Happy studying!